Hey everyone, this is CryptoCon Investor. This is a tutorial video where I will show you how to use your hardware wallet, Ledger hardware wallet to be specific with uh, MyCrypto.com wallet or MyEtherWallet.com. So what makes the Ledger wallet so interesting is it uses a different derivation path. So what is that? So, um, let's first log in, click on Ledger, connect to Ledger wallet. So you'll see some addresses on the screen. Obviously, I've blurred them out because I don't want to uh, release them into the public. But um, the thing is, you will not find your usual ledger address here. The funny thing is that even if the, uh, you scroll down, there is no ledger wallet um, option here to make life easier of users. So why do you need to use my crypto wallet when you already have uh, support for Ethereum on Ledger Live? Well, I often have to use this uh, for using custom tokens because usually um, the Ledger Live does not allow you. Uh, usually, I cannot find those some of the tokens on Ledger Live. And second, Ledger Live does not allow you to add custom tokens. So for that, you would first have to at least um, log in into your ledger wallet and for that uh, you have to scroll down all the way and this is the most important part of this video click on custom and tie you have to type this this is for m slash 44 and then um single apostrophe and this is the same symbol which you use for uh typing in uh, foot like for example, my height is uh, five foot seven, so I use that very symbol here. So m slash forty four dash, uh, sorry, m slash forty four uh, single apostrophe slash sixty single apostrophe zero single apostrophe slash zero, uh, then no apostrophe, just that. And when you type in that, this will be enabled. Uh, if you do not type right address, this is not enabled. This tick mark. So. And then you type, uh, then you click this red button. And voila, your uh, wallet address will appear here. So if you have, if you're using multiple Ethereum address, you will find them on this first page or second page if you're using a lot of Ethereum addresses. Then you click on the one and then click on unlock. And here, if you are used if you use my crypto wallet or my ethereum wallet on your everyday basis you will find this you will find this uh, ui very familiar so i uh, recently ran into a problem where i had to send the ens token you know the ethereum name service token which is which was recently listed on binance so i had to send it back to binance to sell because of the recent pump and i was not able to add it on ledger live even though I had sent it to that very Ethereum address. So I had to add it, uh, add it as custom token here, uh, paste it as a contract added, and now it showed up here. Obviously, now it is saying zero because I've already sent it to Binance. So yeah, um, you can very well manage in every single token here, and you can use the same method uh, for Ethereum Classic. You can change the network here, switch, switch over to Ethereum Classic, and uh, manage your Ethereum Classic and Ethereum Classic tokens uh, from there as well. So uh, I hope that you found this video useful. Um, to show your appreciation, just hit the like button. And um, let me know in the comment section below if you found this video useful or not. That's all about it. Stay tuned for more Python related videos like this. I often make tutorial videos as well. So yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay abreast with latest Python analysis videos. This is CryptoCoin Investor. Bye bye.